This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, which is Animation and Games, Lesson 16, Collision Detection, Part 9. Let's see what we're doing here. Uh, I see a bunch of code already, so I want to hit run and... Ooh, ooh, can I move? I can move! Okay, cool. So we're definitely going to be changing that up. Any other animations? All right. I always want to check. Scoreboard. Oh, okay. You can use is touching to decide whether you should increase the score in this game. The score is stored inside the score variable. Makes sense. It is displayed on the screen using the text block. Okay. Do this. Use the if and is touching blocks to determine whether the bunny has caught the carrot. Okay. If and is touching, bunny caught carrot. If it has, do the following three things. Three, use the counter pattern on the score variable to increase the score. Reset the carrot's X position off the right hand side of the screen. Set the carrot's Y position to a random number between 10 and 390. Ah, 10 and 390, so it, it's anywhere. This is 390, so that would be above the ground, and 10, so it's I think that means so it's on the screen, but anywhere in that area. All right. Okay. So first we want to add an if, if to figure out if we caught a carrot. All right. So if carrot X right to the right side of the screen. Oh, is it already doing that? Aha, so our carrot's looping back if it hits the edge. All right, so we want to do, though, draw a score. All right, when the bunny touches the carrot, so we need a control, just like they have, if add one point. Oh, nope, I'm going to do it under this. Our comments are for programmers, not for the computer. The computer skips over these. These are hints or notes you can leave for yourself while programming. Add one to the score and put the carrot back off the screen. Okay, so we need an is touching property right here. Okay, don't leave this as sprite. We have a variable named bunny that we set to equal, well, our bunny image, and a variable named carrot. So when the bunny is touching the when the bunny is touching the carrot, okay. What do we want to do? Well, we need to. Increase the score, reset the carrot's position. So to increase the score, I would assume, where do we make the... Ah, score equals zero. So it's a variable, right? So we need to go to variables, score equals, and we're going to say score again, and then we need some math here. It's going to equal exactly what it did before, right? Score is going to equal the score, but we want to add one to it. So, hey, new score still equal what you did before, but just add one to it. And that's going to be what our score is. Okay. It also wanted us to reset the carrot. Well, I already know they're resetting the carrot when it goes to negative 25. Because negative 25 is off this way, right? If negative 25x right here, it's saying, hey, if this carrot lo x location is past negative 25. So, if it's off the screen, reset it to 450 and use a random Y to set up the carrots Y. 450 is this way off the screen. So I'm going to steal their idea. Okay, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to use, just like they did, variables, and then carrot, and then random. So boop, and boop, and then carrot X, carrot Y, so a sprite. Drop it right in here, carrot X, carrot Y. We need this to say carrot, and this to say carrot. We then need this to, uh, x is going to equal, x equals 450, right? Because it's going to be off the screen, because x is left and right. So 450, and then y is what we're setting to random. Math, random, and they did 10 to 190, or to 390. Okay, so we're getting there, I think. Um, ooh, let me turn off my grid. And then how did I make him jump? Oh! Oh, I missed that one. Oh, and the score worked, I think. Ooh, I got it. Ooh, jump, jump! Ah, 
All right, and I think, was there one more part of this? Reset the carrot's X position, set the... Oh, no, we got it. All right, so we reset X, reset Y, and I'm going to shrink this to show you. Uh, reset. What I added then was all of this. If is touching carrot, score plus one, and then I stole their idea from up here. So this is the code that was working for me. Awesome, I'm gonna keep going.